Thank you very much, DJ. These are not set up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, these guys, they have said everything that needs to be said tonight uh, before bringing me up. Um, I'm not the last artist so that you don't leave after my performance. Uh, actually, I, I, I think I was supposed to be the last person to perform. Uh, but I tell them, say no, for my place, no, they send, they send children. Uh, so we'll leave one person behind, we'll go close door. Uh, so that is why we are saving one more person. This guy is he's crazy. He's out of this world. So you guys will stay. There's a reason we are leaving him to perform last. Um, why don't I come make me look like I old like this? Which can, which can, no, forget the gray. Forget the gray. Forget the gray. This gray. Is, anyway, you know, sometimes in life, you know, that is why my favorite part of the house, the toilet. I don't know about you. Okay, some people, for the sake of just being polite, will say bathroom. You know, when you both say, I'm going to go use the bathroom, they go shit. Nobody to go. When we say, we they go use bathroom, we they go bath. Uh -huh. they, they like to be polite. Everybody wants to be politically correct. Now, my favorite part of the house, you know, if you're, if you're opportune to see where are, they go stay, answer call of nature, they get small library there, you know. So when, once I'm on the throne, I they relax. You know, the toilet is a very, very important place. It's where you go for self-rediscovery, you know. <laughs> you be living this life and be thinking you're king. You understand that nothing is happening, you know. But the bathroom is where you go in your full birthday suit, the way God made you. Then you begin to discover stuff, you know. You begin to notice that all things are not equal. <laughs> you're standing in front of the mirror. You're noticing that for the women. Uh, okay, well, I'm big past one, actually. <laughs> really? Uh, Mike is right. He said it before. I didn't believe. You know, you, you, you didn't see Anna by yourself. Even for the men, you didn't see the blockers. Say, wow, slanting. <laughs> How come nature? You're amazing. It's also where you go to discover that you're aging. You understand? You didn't notice gray. Maybe you just they brushed it. Suddenly, wow. At that point, you can still count one, two, three. Then out of curiosity, you begin to check other places where be a beer day. Then you notice another one here. Wow, age. Then you take your eye, go down. <laughs> you know, just to be sure, you know. It's, it's an interesting part of the house. But I'm not going to talk about get, getting old and going gray, but I'm still tempted to. You know, one of the things about aging is that once you begin to hit 40, now imagine the kind of drama and trick life plays on us. From age, from when you become a teenager, a teenager you begin to hustle. You they find money, you they hustle. They try to make money fast. Then suddenly 40 creeps up on you. Uh, maybe by then you would have made a couple bucks or you're still on your way to making it. Then as you hit 40, they say life begins at 40. Now scam. <laughs> life does not begin at 40. Because once you hit 40, from your 40th birthday, friends don't they whisper to you, yeah, a guy, now that you're 40, man, begin to check your prostate, man. You know? <laughs> People begin to enlighten you about all the diseases where they start at 40. <laughs> guy, I'm supposed to be enjoying, not learning about different kinds of diseases. Guy, you need to check your health now, man. You're 40. You know? You say make you drink, they say no, 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 go easy on the alcohol, your liver. You want smoke, they say no, 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 your lungs. You want chopped sugar, they say no, 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 diabetes. You say okay, since all these things no go work, my carry woman, no, 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 you will offend God. <laughs> Come, all this money where person got, I want to take enjoy her. If you can't do all these things, what will I be doing with the money? Man, getting old, now major scar. But you see. Money answers everything. I would not get money now. They say money is the root of evil. Lie, lie. If not, if more than liver for us. You know, in Nigeria, the only thing where they shame us is poverty. That's the only thing that shames the Nigerian poverty. Nothing else. We know they shame again for anything. <laughs> Tell somebody, say, picking now, shall we go say, now, you're not she take the shower. Now, she take that. You know, go mind your business. Tell somebody say your brother now Yahoo Yahoo is he your Yahoo? <laughs> if they give you money, you no go collect. We know they shame again. 
The only thing when they shame us for Nigeria now, ah, if you go that family, then poor. Then everybody, when they hear them, everybody humble. So we know one poor. That is why if you see say Nigeria commit crime anywhere in the world, like economic crime. We don't get serial killers, we get ritual killers. Because we don't want to waste anybody. If we need to kill somebody, he has to bring us money. Hello. No Leo, you both they kill something waste. Now they are on a madness. Take life where you don't want to use to do anything. Police will come to find you up and down. They say this guy is a serial killer, man. He's been killing young girls, teenagers, collecting their pants. Hello. Nigeria will collect pants now to buy Benz. Not be to open museum of ladies' pants. We know we, we, our crime. We know where they carry us. Go now, money now. We need things hard, things tough. Poverty, bad thing. Poverty leads to depression. And when you're depressed, you resort to the three M's: medication, meditation, and masturbation. Yes, because it's a crime for somebody where they poor to they get erection. Where you want put her? Are you mad? For which person body without money? You have not heard that no romance without finance. Which person daughter you won't carry for free? They craze. <laughs> Who not get money? May your prick no raise. Unless you want to try soapy. <laughs> Poverty is a bad thing. Women. Please, I'm going to help the men. I'm begging you. Back home, things rough. I'm going to help men. Statistics show, and facts, statistics show that there are more widows than widowers. That is to say the men are dying off quicker than the women. Life expectancy for men, I don't know whether they're saying 45 for Nigeria. It could be higher here. So once you're 45 and above in Nigeria, you're one of the lucky few. So if you're married and your husband don't reach 45, allow him to enjoy this life. Because you don't know when he's going to log out. <laughs> my father has moved 15 years ago. My mom is still around. My father-in-law has moved three years ago. My mother-in-law is around. So I have two widows that I'm taking care of. So statistically, I'm going to log out before my wife. Not like I'm troubled about that. It's not giving me any stress. I even want to move first. <laughs> uh, make, make person rest. <laughs> yes. But I don't want to move too fast. Or too far apart. Make the time they near. So as I they move, maybe like a few months later, you join me. <laughs> I think it's a fair arrangement. Because I don't know how heaven is though. You understand? I don't want to get to heaven like my dad now is waiting for 15 years for my mom. And we are not even ready to release her. I feel rich there now. The woman no quick come. I look for another woman there. Then when she finally comes, you know women how you behave. You couldn't even wait. Wait for how long? <laughs> with, with Nihistin and Ali and all these people as my neighbors. Everybody's stranded here. You have to start something before my dad comes. You know, so I don't... I don't want us to move too far apart. So to break this divide, I find that the reason men are moving quicker is because we bear too much stress. The average African man wants to be the head of the house and he wants to defend that title. So when they say you're the head of your family, you hustle, 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 hustle. And guess what, women, you guys know the trick. Anytime you want to make a girl of her work, anytime your wife willingly gives you headship, there's a bill to be paid. They, they, they all come, hey, honey, hey, you know it's summer. Uh, the children and I, we are saying, you know, you are the head of the family now. We are, we are waiting for you to decide where we are going to. It's because they want you to pay. Any other time, now, Madam, now, be head. When it comes to dish food, now, she, they decide. Near kitchen, you will hear, no, 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 no. I don't want anybody interfering in the kitchen. Now, if you, you could apologize. When they send us message. So, please, allow these men enjoy life before they log out. You know, the only thing where we pass women, now for kindness, you guys are smarter than us, is in the Bible, in the book of Genesis. For the sake of time, I can't go into details. You guys are stronger than us, is also in the Bible. 
the only place that we are better is kindness. Yes, because the biggest act of kindness is for man to die for a fellow man, which was done by Jesus Christ and is a man. So when it comes to kindness, it's in our DNA to be kind. That is why you see men, we give, we give. We'll find a nice woman, we'll give her a roof over her head, give car, give money, give belly, give, you know. It's just in our nature to give. So that is why when you see your husband in the act of giving, allow him, is his nature. If you see him anywhere, no matter what he's giving, just, you know, encourage him, encourage him. Uh, men, you're liking all these why you things. Uh, you know, I hear some women. You know, usually when I tell women, I say, if you catch your husband, forgive him. After all, the Bible says, forgive 70 times, 70 times. Forgive, just forgive. And you, the man, don't let them catch you up to 70 now. Why? <laughs> if you commit like 10 here, you change location. <laughs> Can you be doing one thing in one place 70 times, then they'll not come and owe you? No. Then I was telling them someday, one woman said, so what if the man now catches the woman? Is he also going to forgive? Knowing Africa, I said, hey, don't worry yourself. We will not catch you. We will not catch you. Thank you. Ah, this is not pound, so. Ah, we will go gather this one. We will not leave them. They, they, spray. they had to see where they spray pounds. You know, any currency, we get name and son name. You don't spray like that. You know? I tell her, I said, no worry. They need to catch women. Even Jesus Christ, no catch if when he chop up on Adam, he catch Life has never been fair to men. Uh, you know, Eve was busy binging on apple, probably living on a diet of apples. God no show, not even one day. Until the day Adam decided to taste. Life cannot be fair to men. Why? And Adam never even finished. The apple still there here. That's why we have Adam's apple. Like God show. Adam! Brother panicked. God began to ask questions. Where are you? If now you, you go figure the equation under that stressful condition. That was how Adam became the first person to fail exam. Simple question of location. He gave fashion design answer. Adam, where are you? The answer is I'm in the bush. But the stupid man said I'm naked. How dumb can somebody get? Where are you? You say you're naked. What's the relationship between your state of dressing and your location? God look and say I punish you. You are a fool. Made you in my image with the answer question like refraff. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of time, for the sake of time and this venue, let me not eat into all the time here. Let me bring on stage this young man. He's amazing. You need to listen to him. The guy did crazy, you know well. Uh, but then again, anybody within Nigeria did crazy. <laughs> because if you know myself, government will make you crazy. You understand? We know they, you know, say we know they understand what they happen for whom. They say education is the key, but it be like they don't change the padlock for Nigeria. We don't even understand. Now, if you tell children, read your book, education is important. They say, mm, come on there. People will no go school, they be president. People will go school, they be vice. <laughs> so even we, we are confused. 